All right, guys. I'm coming at you today with a uh, a new repair. Um, these are for the Xbox 360 Slim. Uh, it can be the 4 gig or the 250 gig. I'm going to show you how to uh, fix the open tray error. Now, this is actually a pretty common thing, but I don't do it very often because a lot of them are still under warranty. So if anybody comes in with a warranty Xbox, I'll actually I'll just tell them to go ahead and send it in. And I'll tell them how to do it because it's free and I don't want to, you know, make my customer pay money they don't have to. But sometimes they will insist, you know, on making me do it and I'll do it. So, But what I'm doing here is uh, removing, I removed the grill first. And those just pop right out, the little metal pick. And now I'm pushing on the tabs that are inside the, uh, inside this lid here. They can be a little tricky. Depending on the Xbox, they're, uh, it seems like the 4 gigs are easier. I don't know why. Maybe because that chrome ring's on it. But, uh, what I'm going to be doing here, guys, I'm looking for the tab and I'm pushing up with my thumb at the same time while pushing the tab out. Um, it's really good if you have a really thin poke like I do, almost like an ice pick. <laughs> I got those orange handled tools. I got all four of them for a dollar at Kmart. Alright, so let's see. Got that one off, and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom one. There's six tabs on each one of these. Um, some of the holes don't have tabs, just FYI. And I'm showing you there's a tab that's right behind that hard drive bay, but there's no hole for it. So you kind of got to get a feel for it. It's behind that plastic flap. It's right in the center there. Yeah. So we're going to get that up. Looking for the sixth tab there. There should be two in the middle and sometimes two, uh, two on one side and one on the other, depending on the lid. There we go. Now you remove the video, the uh, Wi-Fi adapter card. It's a size 10 Torx bit. Okay, are you looking for tabs now? Uh, there should be two tabs there. And you're just going to push them out, just like on the old ones. Except you can't do it from the outside, you have to do it from the inside. And they're going to pull apart and then do the clips at the same time. That side has one. And there's going to be one behind the uh, the Xbox 360 warranty sticker. Right dead center of that warranty sticker. You stick your little tool in there and kind of wiggle it around and give it some pressure. You're not going to break it, don't worry. And then it'll pop open. And then the lid will come off. And then now we remove the five black screws. These are all the long screws that hold the lid on. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this real quick. Cool, and then we got to remove the faceplate. Faceplate has a really thin, almost like paper, uh, ribbon cable. People rip it off all the time, or it falls off when people drop their Xboxes. All you got to do is push a little blue tab forward, and then pull it off. It has a little clip on it, but you can use that clip when you put it back on. That just keeps the cable from falling out and makes it tight. Just remove the, also, yeah, with the drive there, we're going to remove the, the cables from the drive. The piece of rubber that keeps the vibration noise down. There's four Phillips head screws on the bottom. And then you're going to use a razor to cut the dust shield around the, uh, the drive door there. The reason why I use a razor because the lid won't come off if you don't cut it. I guess you could peel it off, but then it'd just be a pain in the ass to put it back on. So I just cut it. And then the bottom comes right off, but the top comes up and out like that. It slides off. Not like the old 360s where it just pops off. And now we're going to um, put the bottom back on. And then we're going to test it out. We always test before you do any work on your Xbox or on anything you do you want to make sure you confirm the problem 
before you do any work. That way you isolate variables, and variables are a huge deal when it comes to repairs. Um, I'm just showing you how to turn it on there. You just use a controller, you don't need the faceplate. And we'll turn it on. Alright, so we confirmed the laser just spins and won't read. It looks like the laser worked though, but it's really weird. It might have needed an adjustment, but the laser is so cheap, I might as well just put a new one in. So yeah, you just slide that little black piece over and then uh, pop the door out. And now I'm removing the laser. You pop the clip off and then you pop off the, uh, there's a clip up the front right there I'm pointing at with the Phillips head. And that's like a full size, a number two. Those are easy to strip because they're held on with a thread lock. So they're hard to pull out. And that's the only side you got to remove, is that one side you remove that clip on. So go ahead and pop that out. And we got the new laser. It's an R2-D2 or R2-C2, something like that. Just Google, or when you go on eBay, Google for a slim Xbox laser. And you get a bunch of them. Also, you got to remove that point I'm pointing at is the anti-static point. It's common with all new lasers you have to remove it with a with a soldering iron a 15 watt and that's the metal clip from the old laser you have to put that one on as well and then reinstall it can be a little tricky sometimes but Take your time, guys. Take your time. Also here with that arm, the little nylon arm, make sure you back out the screw and then put it in before you pop it in. They're really easy to strip. Be gentle with it. All right. So we're going to test it out. I don't need a lid because I have, I already have the magnets, uh, you know, ready to pop on. Uh, if you guys don't have extra magnets for the disc, then just go ahead and put your lid on. Just makes it easier for me to test out. And it looks like we're booting up here. So I'm going to give you a little message here from uh, my video. Take it easy. And all it costs is $11. If you did it with Microsoft, it'd be about 100 bucks. So awesome. If you have any questions, give me a holla. Hey, one more thing, guys. Always retest your console, especially when you're doing something like this, put it back together, test it. And you just put it, put the lid back on the on the tray on the uh, on the DVD drive and test it out. Screw it all back together, put the case on. Don't put it all the way on. Don't screw it all in and test it again. It's still good. You're all set. Uh, you'll learn your lesson pretty quick when you get it working like I just did, and then you get it all back together and it don't work. So it could always be something small. Could cable could come unplugged or you didn't put together right or the lid somehow messes it up so there's a lot of variables and just to get rid of those variables just go ahead and test and test again alright this is Gamer Guy. peace